Hi, for your mid back and upper back uh, foam rolling, grab your foam roller. I got a few options here. The the white one, they're a little bit softer. If you have a black one, they're gonna be a little firmer. Basically, have to put more pressure on you. Or if you really feel like getting crazy, get one of these bad boys. It looks like either a, med a medieval uh, torturing tool or some type of um, dominatrix tool. I mean, you can be the judge in which one it is. Um, whatever you're using, lay it on the ground, get it set up to where it's right at the bottom of your rib cage. Kind of keep the weight even from side to side of your back. I like to give yourself a hug, just kind of open the back up a little bit. You're slowly going down, go to about the base of the neck, or just under. Hi babe, thank you, thank you. Yes, the foam rolling definitely made me need a cup of tea and bread. Thank you. All right, it's going up and down that spot for your allotted time. If it's so much pressure where you cannot breathe through it, like you should be able to eat easily. Inhale, relax, exhale. If you can't do that, find a spot, stick on it, and just breathe through it until it kind of lets up and then move on to the next spot. Do that all the way until you, look all the way up and down the spine. If, nope, nope, good Lord. If you, if it's not too bad doing that, then either move up in pressure of a foam roller, or if you don't have a harder foam roller, kind of roll to one side. So like right now my right side is, just the right of my spine is on the roller, do the same thing. There you go.